KHCN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Ashwini Krishnan. And I'm Sydney Frost. So Sydney, how was your Halloween? Spooky. That's just what I like to hear. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. November is Aviation History Month. Aviation History Month recognizes the achievements of the men and women who make flight happen. I'm so glad that men and women let their dreams take flight. Indian Hill Middle School invites you to attend their production of Alice in Wonderland. The show will take place this Friday, November 4th, and Saturday, November 5th. All shows will begin at 7 p.m., and tickets are $8 each. Order online by clicking on the link in the description or by scanning the QR code. On Friday, November 11th, is the annual global dinner in the high school cafeteria. This is open to all families and will be a fun opportunity to try foods from different cultures, and it's only $5 for the whole family. I wouldn't mind paying $5 for that. We are proud to announce that we are partnering with the Free Stored Food Bank to help them make their goal of feeding 600 families this Thanksgiving. Freshmen and sophomores will be bringing in canned goods like corn, sweet potatoes, green beans, and more. And seniors and juniors will be responsible for bringing in turkey breasts, legs, or cutlets. Just no lunch meat. These donations need to be brought in by November 14th and cans can be put in the barrels by the media center. The turkey will be dropped off at the counseling department. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Schaefer, Mr. Johnson, myself, Lila, Preston, or Tyler. Indian Hill High School congratulates sophomore Chris Ranjan for earning the Presidential Volunteer Gold Award. He was nominated for having over 100 hours in STEM activities. Chris and I were in the same math class in 8th grade and I always knew he'd accomplish awesome things. There's a spicy sports report waiting for us over at the sports desk. Let's throw it over. Hello Braves, I'm George Zaring with this week's sports report. And I'm Reese Tuttle, starting off with cross country. Our boys finished third in the regional meet at Troy and qualified to the state meet. Liam Morris finished third overall at the time of 16-16. Good luck at state, Liam. Now, here's some winter sports preseason news. Our boys basketball team opens up their season with a scrimmage at Western Hills University High School on Wednesday, November 9th at 5 p.m. They also have a scrimmage on Saturday, November 12th versus Monroe and Summit at Hamilton High School. Good luck to our Braves. The girls basketball team has their very first scrimmage on Wednesday, November 9th versus Eastern Brown and Baden at home at 6 p.m. They also have a scrimmage on Saturday, November 12th at Ross High School at 9 a.m. Our wrestling team is gearing up for their first dual meet at, Ro at Ross High School on Friday, November 25th. This is the day after Thanksgiving, so don't eat too much turkey or you might not make the weight. Their next meet is at the Bearcat Duels in Kentucky on Saturday, December 3rd. Good luck, Grapplers. The girls' bowling team opens up their season with a match against Marymont on Wednesday, November 30th at the Madison Bowl at 4 p.m. Our boys' bowling team opens up their season with a match against Finneytown on Sunday, November 27th at the Royal House in Fairfield at 4 p.m. The boys also have a match against Marymont alongside the girls' team on Wednesday, November 30th at the Madison Bowl. Come out and support both teams. Our boys and girls' diving teams opened up the season with a dive meet on Saturday, December 3rd at West Claremont. Swimmers will be practicing and getting ready for their season to begin soon. This past Sunday, the Indian Hill cheer team competed in their regional competition. They placed in the top 10 and received a bid to nationals in Florida later this year. On November 12th, the CHL competition will take place at our very own gym. Come out and cheer for your cheerleaders because they cheer for you. Attention all Braves! The athletic department would like to invite everyone to come out the next Friday for the Braves Madness event at 7 p.m. There will be an introduction to all of our boys and girls teams and interviews with the coaches. There will be a slam dunk and three-pointer contest. And the girls and boys will put on a 10-minute scrimmage each. They will also feature Ohio's number one dog show as additional entertainment. Admission is free, so come out and have some fun. And an important message was just sent in from our French club. In honor of National French Week, which is from November 3rd to November 9th, here are some interesting facts. Did you know that the technical sponsor of the French national soccer team is Nike? Interesting. And did you also know that French was the official language of England from 1066 until 1362? Wow, that's very interesting, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> Vive, Vive la, la France! France.
Now, back to the news desk. Good luck to all of our brave athletes. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is sponsoring a winter gear collection drive. Bring in new or gently used winter wear. Donation bins will be located in the front lobby organized according to the class. The class with the most items will receive a gift card from Chick-fil-A. Collections are from October 24th to November 29th. See flyers located around the school or Mr. Witt in room 208 for more information. The talent show is on December 7th during Flex. The tryouts will be held on November 14th after school. If you're interested, check out the flyers around the building or click on the QR code for more information. Ashwini, you're not going to believe this, but we have more service news to share. Oh yeah, Senior Service Day. The senior class volunteered last Friday on the 28th at 10 local organizations and went to 50 West after to spend time together as a grade. Did you have fun, Sydney? Yeah, I had a great time. Thanks for making things like that happen. Well, that's all, folks. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Hey guys, so today we're going to be asking people their rose and their thorn from Halloween. Can you tell me your rose and your thorn from Halloween? Getting candy and my thorn was it raining. Can you tell me your rose and your thorn from Halloween? Um, my rose was uh, going to Halloween without a costume and my thorn was uh, not having a costume. What was your rose and thorn for Halloween? My rose was that I got to spend it with my friends, but the thorn was that it was kind of short because it was on a Monday. What was your rose and your thorn for Halloween? Well, I would say my favorite part was seeing his awesome costume. Probably my least favorite part was going to bed on Halloween. What was your rose and your thorn from Halloween? The college apps. That was your thorn? Yeah. What was your rose? Got to eat some Smarties, I don't know. What was your rose and your thorn from Halloween? Um, my rose for Halloween was probably dressing up like Kyle Ennis. The thorn was that he didn't think it was very funny. What is your rose and your thorn from Halloween? Um, the thorn was definitely the Bengals losing. Hanging out with my friends. So real.